Hey you guys, Lissandro here and today I'm going to make a special blog and pretty much uh, what I'm going to blog about is uh, a well-known browser that a lot of y'all uh, know about or actually uh, would say known about and I'm sure y'all probably hate and that's Internet Explorer. Now for for the past like I say year or two um, I've been using uh, um, this new um, browser called Edge and the thing is that um, Edge started out alright and initially I, uh, I, I thought that it was a better browser however as time passed and everything um, I started to notice that it constantly crashed. It con I constantly had issues with it and everything. And and just yesterday, I pretty much like dumped Edge. And the reason why is because um, what I noticed is that Edge is essentially Internet Explorer in disguise. And the de the deal with that is that Internet Ed Explorer before Windows 10 came out. Uh, it gave me a bunch of issues. It constantly crashed. There was even an update that would not function right be, uh, because of some other remedial updates in which every time I opened it, it automatically crashed. It, it didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even get to browse anything. And uh, the browser automatically just crashed. Just, uh, um, just crashed. It didn't, uh, didn't let me browse or anything. And uh, I'm, I've been dealing with Internet Explorer for years. And um, what I say is this, Internet Explorer has outlived its usefulness. The same, uh, the same goes for Edge. Uh, in, in my own opinion, Edge sucks. Now, it does have some like nice features and everything, but the de deal is that it, um, the usefulness of these features um, are greatly outweighed by its uh, disadvantages, and the thing is that this is uh, these disadvantages are very crucial things that affect uh, uh, affect its usefulness. As a matter of fact, if you were uh, um, to implement um, the use of this uh, this browser in, like, let's say, um, as preference in. Uh, companies to browse like whatever you're gonna be working with is it would result in great inefficiency why because uh, a lot of time would be wasted in in having to deal with a browser crashing or uh, freezing slowing down or whatever uh, whatever the case may be and um, not to mention don't get me started in extensions add-ons now um, Internet Explorer had a variety of add-ons and, and everything, and uh, that was nice and all. But uh, Edge had even fewer, fewer add-ons, fewer extensions than the previous uh, Internet Explorer. And um, if you look at Chrome, Chrome is very uh, is really fast in reality. Um, and in reality, I prefer it better than. Uh, Firefox or any of the other browsers, and the reason why is because it, it, it's mobile. It it gives you this whole deal with synchronicity between uh, what you browse and what uh, on your computer and what you browse on your mobile phone. And um, don't get me started with like apps, extensions, add-ons, and things like that. There's a whole variety of uh, apps, add-ons, and extensions, and everything. As a matter of fact, it's, it's also been uh, another job for me to develop uh, add-ons extensions, and it's something that I'll, uh, I'll start developing. Not only uh, apps for Android or uh, things like that, but uh, also extensions, the same for Facebook. I'll be developing uh, extensions for, uh, for Facebook's games, things like that. Pretty much software is uh, is my passion and everything. I really love it. 
but anyway, the, uh, and this is this is also the reason why I um, I changed from Windows Phone to Android, and and it has to do with the efficiency, the whole um, the whole deal with uh, how efficient your phone is, how the capabilities that it has, and everything. And, and here's what the deal is: uh, the reason I left uh, Windows Phone is because to start off the App Store, it, it really sucked. It, it didn't. Uh, it didn't have apps that could keep up with like the demand of some of these. Uh, with the demand of some of the um, the necessities of uh, of some people. Um, I I had necessities in regard to like developing code, things like that. And the thing is that when I switched to Android and I took this decision, it was a hard decision because. Uh, personally, uh, I like Windows Phone as ni uh, nice interface and everything, but when I switched to Android, one thing I noticed, there were a variety of different uh, apps. There was a, a whole huge store of apps, and, um, and the deal is that, um, around, that uh, around the time I decided to uh, switch to... Um, to Android, they were discontinuing a lot of apps, uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, Windows Phone apps, and they were focusing more on Android. If you look at every, a lot of companies, they focus on either um, iPhone apps or uh, Android apps, they, and they have a variety of apps for different things. When I go to Home Depot, um, they have apps. If I go to Walmart, they have apps. Target. Even though I, I don't, I don't personally, I don't like going to Target. But uh, if you go to Target, they uh, they uh, they ha uh, have apps and everything, and uh, HEB and so on. There's a lot of companies that have these apps that are essentially scanners, as scanners, specials, coupons, things like that. And the thing is that uh, I need uh, I needed a lot to uh, take advantage of a lot of these apps because. The thing is, it saves time. It it saves me time in dealing with that. And, and the thing is that now, now I, I have a variety of different apps on it uh, on my phone. And there are even some apps on here that are generating money. They're actually making money, give me uh, giving me um, a composite salary and all. Uh, not, it's not much, but it helps in uh, little things here and there. Um, but anyway, that that's just a side detail. That's such a comparison in, in regard to why, uh, why I switched to Chrome. And not to mention, not, uh, not long ago, I bought the Chromecast. And uh, it, it, it helps me uh, with planning things. It, it's a lot better with watching movies, watching uh, YouTube on my couch, uh, couch rather, rather than to dealing with... Um, sitting on a table and watching it through the laptop. I, I don't complain and all that's fine and everything, but it's a lot more comfortable if you uh, um, you can watch a movie from your couch and it's uh, from the internet. This is also the reason why I don't like cable. I don't I don't get cable. I used to watch Hulu before they uh, eliminated the, uh, the free accounts and uh, I, I don't get any um, Xfinity, Netflix or any any of that. And personally, I consider them a waste of money and all. Some people like them, others don't. Uh, if that's your preference, that's fine and everything. Uh, uh, I don't mind. That's that's your own deal and everything. But anyway, um, I'm a, uh, I'm also gonna make this uh, horror question. And uh, my question is, which do you prefer? Uh, which do you prefer, Edge or Chrome? And uh, also, uh, the like secondary question is: uh, is what do you like about Chrome? Or a actually, better yet, said, what do you like about uh, e uh, either of them? But anyway, guys, uh, I guess this is all for now. Uh, I guess this is all that I'm gonna uh, do for now and everything. 
um, but anyway guys thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and don't forget pledge to my patreon and I'll catch you guys next time bye